trigonometry basics continued, let's try to define sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, in similar triangles, we have shown that we basically have certain ratios between the sides that are equivalent to each other. I'll put up a link up above to that introduction for you. Now, once you have these right angle triangles, then we have, just for convenience, come up with these definitions of sine, cosine, and tangent. And just for kind of shorthand, instead of writing sine, we typically will write S-I-N, okay? So it's not sin, it's sine. For cosine, we typically just write C-O-S, and then for, for tangent, we just simply write tan. Now, if you take any scientific calculator, you'll find these on the scientific calculator. So here, this is my kind of app, and notice that sine, cos, and ten are there. Um, I'll write on the calculator, and you can check yours if you have those or not. And you'll need them if you want to be able to do kind of trigonometry in a quick way. Now, what are these sine, cosine, and tangent? Well, the definition is actually rather simple. So if you take a right angle triangle and you have a known angle so let's say I'll, I'll put an angle here of theta as you see there in the corner the other one is the 90 degrees if you want to know what the ratios between the different sides are so for example okay so if my theta is right here then that makes this side to be the adjacent side to the angle um, this will be the opposite side of the angle, and then this is just our, hy our hypotenuse. So first, if you take, for instance, the opposite side, so whatever the length of the opposite side is, and then you try to divide it by the hypotenuse. So that particular ratio between, so it's going to give you a number. And it turns out that we define this as the sine okay, of the angle okay that we have within our triangle and it is just simply the opposite over the hypotenuse so, so that's basically what sine is for cosine so if you have cosine of the angle okay so if this is our angle theta whatever that angle might be that is actually defined as the adjacent okay so the length of the adjacent side divided by your hypotenuse, so the length of the hypotenuse. And that is your cosine of the angle. And then finally, your tangent, so your tangent, so I'll just write 10, of that angle that you have within your triangle, that is defined as the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And those are the actual definitions of the sine, cosines, and tangents of the angle that you may know of your triangle. Now, this is a right angle triangle. So that is your sine. So sine is just opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is your adjacent length divided by your hypotenuse. And your tangent is your opposite side divided by your adjacent side. So let's try to see, you know, how does this help us in any way? Because remember, trigonometry is supposed to be the relationship between the sides and then the angles within your actual triangle. So how do they relate? Well, they relate by these actual ratios, which is kind of neat. So here is you know, a, a triangle for you. I'm gonna bring it up just a touch. So I'm gonna bring this up and let's say that I know the two sides. Now it doesn't matter if it's in centimeters, in meters, feet, whatever it might be. Let's say that one side is three and then the other side is four. Now we can certainly find the hypotenuse here by using the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, and if you do that, you can, I can, you can calculate that yourself, but you'll find that the hypotenuse is five. So here are the lengths of each side. And now let's imagine that this theta, okay, so the angle that we have, so this angle right here, what would that actually, okay, kind of be in terms of the relationships, okay, between them? And what do we mean by these sines, cosines, and tangents? Well, what this would mean is that, for instance, if you wanted to know what the sine, okay, of this angle is, 
And now, in this case, we actually don't know what that particular angle is, but um, we do know that sine of that particular angle is just simply okay, defined by the opposite over hypotenuse. And your opposite would be right here, so that's the opposite of the angle, and then your hypotenuse is right here. So it turns out that sine of that angle would just simply be 3 over 5. So we don't even have to know what that angle is. We know that it would just simply equal to 3 over 5, which is 0 0.6. If we wanted to know, so again, so this is coming from, I'll put it in brackets, this is opposite of the angle, and then divided by your hypotenuse. So that's what you have there. Now, if we wanted to know the cosine of that angle, then that is the relationship between your adjacent over your hypotenuse. So in this case, it would have been 4 over 5. So this is just adjacent over hypotenuse, so the lengths of those. So again, we don't really even have to know the angle, but we know that relationship. And then finally, for your tangent, so your tangent of that particular angle, okay, so in this case, would have been just simply opposite over adjacent, and that is just simply 3 over 4. This is opposite over adjacent. So that's that relationship. Now, please be careful when you're doing these because you know it will depend on which angle and then which relationships you are interested in. So for instance, let me remove this theta, all right, in here, and let's say you know my angle, I'm gonna change the angle, and I want it to you know have the relationship with respect to this angle. Let's say this is some alpha, all right? another Greek letter. Now in this case, if you wanted to find out the relationships there, so your opposites adjacents okay, are going to be changing. Okay, So for instance, let me change the color here, so if I wanted to find the sine of, okay, so that alpha angle, so this angle right here, well that is, so it's still opposite over hypotenuse, but here your opposite to this angle, this is your opposite of that angle and then of course your hypotenuse still stays the same so that will now all of a sudden switch so this is going to be 4 over 5 which is your opposite over hypotenuse so it does depend on which angle you're talking about and then for your cosine so cosine of that angle so of that alpha angle so that would have been your adjacent now your adjacent to that angle is this 3 and that makes that relationship 3 over 5, which is again adjacent over hypotenuse. And then finally our tangent okay, of this, so that's a little bit different because it is opposite over adjacent, and in this case opposite is 4 and then adjacent is 3, so that's what we have right there. So it is dependent on which angle you're talking about, and we don't typically take this angle, which is already the 90 degree angle that we have, we typically try to find the, uh, the other two angles with respect to this. Now, what else can we do here um, with these sines, cosines, and tangents? So how can we actually relate all of these things back? Okay, so here are a couple um, other examples. Here's one of them. So now in this case, I'm actually gonna give you what the angle is. So let's say the angle is 30 degrees and then I know what the length in this case is the hypotenuse because notice hypotenuse is always going to be on the opposite side of that 90 degrees. So I know that um, and what I would want to know is alright so if I know this okay so then that means what is the length of this side and then what is the length of this side. Now the angles we know, okay, so all of these angles we know, because if this is 90 degrees, this one is 30 degrees, then that makes this one basically 60 degrees, because that's just coming from the triangles, right? So all the angles of a triangle, so if you sum up all of the angles, okay, of a triangle, then they're supposed to be equal to 180 degrees. So we know all of those angles. So now the relationships now between all the sides, we can actually find out by using sine, cosines, and tangents. So let's do that. So I have my, I'm gonna kind of remove this right here, and I have my angle, so one of these angles, okay, so this is 30 degrees. So 
So let's try to use what we've just had. So this basically means that I have, so sine of 30 degrees is supposed to be related to, okay, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite over hypotenuse. Now, which one is opposite of that particular 30 degrees? Well, the opposite of that angle, okay, is right here. So that's this right there. That is my opposite, all right? So what I have is that opposite okay, is right here. My hypotenuse is 10, and therefore I have sine of 30 is equal to my opposite okay, divided by 10. Now that's an O and not a zero, so be careful. So if I wanted to solve for this O right here, I can do that. Now what is sine of 30? Now, once you start doing these things in a while, you probably may remember some of them, but you can initially kind of start utilizing here straight from the actual calculator that you have. So sine of 30, so this is sine of 30, okay? So we can do that on the calculator. So that's gonna give us an answer, which is 0 0.5, all right? So that 0 0.5, just simply means that the ratio between your opposite over hypotenuse okay is equal to 0 0.5 so what does that tell us well that tells us that this okay is basically 0 0.5 opposite over 10 now i can bring the 10 over on the other side and i can solve for my opposite which is just simply 0 0.5 times 10 and that's going to be 5. so that means that this side is equal to 5 and that relates back the angle to the actual sides. Now, what about this one? So can I find this right here? I can find this right here now in kind of several different ways. One of the ways is I can use the Pythagorean theorem, right? Because I have the two sides, so this is just the 90 degrees. I know the hypotenuse already, and I know one of the sides, so I can use that to find it. Or... I can actually find, so now in this case, I can use cosine. So notice that for this, the cosine, so cosine of the 30 degrees, so this is adjacent over hypotenuse. And now the adjacent side to that 30 degrees is this. And then here is my hypotenuse, which I know. So that hypotenuse here, so basically if I bring this over to the other side, it's gonna be hypotenuse multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees is equal to my adjacent side and I will have my answer and you know I do encourage you so you can try this out on your calculator as well so this is cosine of 30 okay so this is in degrees and you will have to check on your calculators okay so that you are actually inputting into degrees because you may have to switch your calculator to, cal to calculate things in degrees, or sometimes you switch it back to radians, okay, and you see RAD. Now, on this calculator, I have it in degrees already. Now, I have my switch in here, so notice radians, degrees. So that's the mode that you're gonna be using. That's something that you're gonna have to check on your calculator on your own, all right? So now, cos of 30, okay, is 0 0.86602, so continues on and now my hypotenuse so this answer was just multiplied by 10 so that's going to be approximately i'm going to round this off for myself so adjacent is going to be approximately 8 point i'll put 6 6 all right so i'll leave it to that that's going to be rounded and that's how i can use that to find out my sides so i can use these relationships between sines and cosines okay so here and here to be able to find it all right so that's one way to do it and then of course you can also use tangent okay to solve the exact same problem because you knew that one of the sides was already five right so you could have taken the tangent of 30 and then that is just opposite okay so notice that tangent right here is opposite over adjacent right there so we could have used this as well all right to be able to solve it here's another example and then trying to apply these 
sines and cosines and so on. So now we don't know the hypotenuse. We actually know the adjacent side to the angle right here, right? So now we can try to figure out the rest, okay, of them. So, you know, can I find this one? All right, so that would have been the first one. So that's the opposite side. So this is the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse. And this is the adjacent side with respect to the actual um, the degrees that we know, which is the theta, okay? So the angle itself. So if I know that, so notice if, I'm, if I wanna find out the opposite, so I will have, so I can use opposite over adjacent is equal to, so I know this is the tangent of the angle. So this is of 18 degrees, so I have that. Now I know my adjacent, so that is three. Okay, if I bring it over on the other side, so this is gonna be three multiplied by 10 of 18 degrees, which is just my opposite. So I'm gonna find out exactly what that is. And I can plug that in, notice within here. So I can say three multiplied by the tangent, okay, of 18 degrees is equal to, and that would have been approximately 0 0.9, okay, 7, 5, that's my opposite side. Now, if I wanted to find my hypotenuse right here, and I know my adjacent side, so notice adjacent over hypotenuse, I could use, so in that case, I can use cosine of 18 degrees is equal to, and now this is adjacent over hypotenuse, which in our case is three over H, Okay, so I have that, and now I can find out what my H is if I like, right there. So if I bring this over, so notice my H is gonna go over on the other side. My A is three divided by, now this cosine I'm gonna have to bring down, so this is gonna be cosine of 18 degrees, and then I will find it. I can also use the Pythagorean theorem if I wanted to, because I already had adjacent and opposite calculated all right so here this is going to be actually three divided by and this is going to be cos of 18 degrees which is equal to so it's approximately 3.15 now each calculator is a little bit different so when you're inputting these sometimes you have to put the degrees first and then hit sine cosine or tangent um, or you actually hit the actual button and then enter that in so you're gonna to have to test out your calculators to be able to see these. Now, these are just the introductions, all right, in terms of these definitions of sines, cosines, and tangents, and they are related towards triangles, which are right angle triangle. And here again is your definition of each of them. So if you take these in terms of sine, cosines, and tangent, Okay, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in a future video. Bye, everybody.